stars what it do was good in the hood <laughs> so i know you guys are probably like girl what did you just call me well i think it's time that we have a family name a posse name you know we can't just be here without anything and i just want to be really close to you guys i want us to actually connect more so from now forward y'all are my z stars so hey what's up tell me if you like the new name let me know in the comments below but anyway today i'd like to talk to you guys about how to get a long hair regimen with zero hair products i know that sounds really crazy and you're probably like girl what is you talking about that's impossible actually contrary to what may be popular belief it's really not impossible there are plenty of things on the planet that are really fantastic for natural hair so all you need are some juices some berries some nuts and some honey and you got yourself a nice little natural hair souffle guys i'm totally joking it's a bit more complex than that but let me not waste your time let's get right into the video before we do though please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up be sure to comment down below let me know what kinds of natural concoctions you all use in your hair share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones and last but certainly not least if you're not already subscribe to our channel i don't know what you're doing i don't know how you're not subscribed i mean our videos are pretty popping and really all you need to do to know exactly when we post is turn your notifications on so please be sure to do those few very simple things and let's get right into the video you guys thank you so much you shall be prominent so the first product that you can use in your hair, of course, when building a regimen that's like natural juices and berries and ish is black soap, pure African black soap. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you know I've had my qualms with black soap. I actually have a video talking about how I got hives from using fake black soap, but you know, we don't have to, we don't have to go back to that. You know, we've moved past that, we've evolved, we've moved to a different place in life, so you guys can check that out right here. But the reason why I say black soap is because it's a very exceptional natural cleanser. What it does is it detoxes the hair and the scalp, so it's really fantastic for clarifying your hair. So if you don't want to use shampoo, if you don't want to use co-wash conditioner and you want to use something super inexpensive, get you some black soap. It's not really a hair product, but it's fantastic on your hair. So you guys, black soap is really popping for the skin and the hair. So if you finna glow, you know what to do. You better get you some black soap, girl or guy. And if you really want to glow, you can totally check out my video on how to glow up. I mean, I'm just going to put it right here. No big deal. So <laughs> let's get right on to the next one, you guys. So two more really fantastic cleansers that double as skin and hair treats are bentonite clay and rasool clay. There are also other types of clays, but I mean, I'm not that familiar with them. I used to use bentonite clay rather frequently and it was really great at just pulling all of the negative toxin and all of that bad stuff out of my hair and my skin. It's really fantastic again, and it's a much milder cleanser than black soap. So in between your black soap washes or black soap shampoos, even though it's not really a hair product, you can use your bentonite clay or your Rasool clay. You can get this at Whole Foods, you can get it on the internet at a whole bunch of places. I'll put a link down below, and I'll also be sure to link you guys to places in Nigeria where you can get this, because I'm currently in Nigeria, and I got mine on our like local Amazon. It's not really Amazon, but it might as well be. So some really, really popping conditioning agents that actually double as treatments are hibiscus, avocado, you could even use oil to condition your hair, and etc. Etc. Et now hibiscus is a really popular Ayurvedic component. So if you have an Ayurvedic hair regimen, you probably already know what hibiscus is. If you're a normal babe like me, you just started using hibiscus. But it's really fantastic. There are plenty of naturals who've made excellent videos on how to use hibiscus as a conditioning agent. One of them is fusion of cultures. There are actually a whole bunch of things that you could be like, yo, I totally just found this in my kitchen and used it on my hair. So a few of those things include banana, avocado, eggs, mayonnaise, etc., etc., etc. Basically, what you would do is you would mix those things up, mash them into paste, and add your favorite oils or whatever else you want to add really it's really really super simple and extremely cost effective you actually don't have to do the most if you're trying to condition your hair you also don't really need to do these every single time some of these are more treatments so if you're protein sensitive like me chances are you won't really be doing an egg mask or an avocado mask or a mayo mask maybe you would do those once a month or once every two months but other ones <laughs> 
<laughs> like the banana mask and milder ones you could do more frequently. When I was young, I used to do mayo and avocado masks all the time. Now this was before I liked avocado. I used to think it was really gross. Currently, I eat a lot of guacamole and plain avocado. You know, I've, I've joined the team, I've jumped ship. <laughs> Back then, I really didn't like those things, but I noticed my hair was super duper shiny, super strong, and it grew relatively quickly. So these things really do work, you guys, and I highly recommend them for anyone looking for growth and health without all the expense of buying hair products from the store. So my absolute favorite non-hair product conditioning agent, you guys, is, please, can I hear the choir of angels? <laughs> Aloe vera gel and juice. <laughs> I absolutely love aloe vera, you guys. It's been a lifesaver. It's a fantastic conditioner, a fantastic scalp treatment, and a fantastic leave-in. So to use it as a scalp treatment, you can actually just mix it with some oils, extract the gel, even mix in a little bit of the juice, put it on your scalp, massage it in for however long you want to massage it in for, keep it in for some time, and then rinse it out. To use it as a conditioner, you can actually just put it in while you're washing your hair after you, you know, use your black soap or your rasul clay and you allow it to marinate for a bit, then rinse it out like you would any conditioner. To use it as a leave-in, you put it in after you shower while your hair is still soaking wet and then you go about with your oil and your cream, which we'll get to shortly. But this is actually one of the primary ways I keep my hair super duper moisturized in this extremely thirsty climate that is northern Nigeria. I can't tell you guys the amount of times my hair has tried to just snap off my head, but you know, we've stayed together, we've kept it together, you know? And I have a lot of these natural products to thank for that. So you guys be sure to try that out and let me know how it goes. Also, I know there are a whole bunch of other uses for aloe vera, so let me know down below how you guys use aloe vera, whether it's skin or hair. So the final steps of that kind of a very simple, stress-free, natural juices and berries and honey regimen are oil and shea butter to seal in all of the moisture you just put back in your hair. What I like to do is I like to use some of my favorite oils, almond, olive, grapeseed, and some essential oils put that on my hair and my scalp. Now again, these are not necessarily hair products. We're used to using things like twist and lock butter or dialing gel or setting mousse, but you really don't need any of those things, y'all. I mean, you could be indulgent and go out and purchase them, but you actually don't need them. You can get by with a really fantastic oil that nourishes your strands and some pop-in butter to seal all of that in. There's shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, and a myriad of other butters that I can't really call to mind right now, but they exist. And again, I'll put a whole bunch of butter options down in the description box below. So you guys can check out more supernatural products to use for your hair, again, not necessarily hair products, extremely inexpensive, but really fantastic for hair and skin. The first amongst some miscellaneous slash extraneous hair treatments, they're not actually hair product related, but are still really popping in supernatural juices and berries and honey, would be the green tea or black tea or any other tea really, Rin. The reason why this is super effective is because it helps reduce hair fall, it increases the shine, and then it also stimulates the scalp. I think each tea does something different, so you guys need to do your own research and let me know. I actually have not tried it, but I do know a young woman who has. Her hair has really been flourishing as a result of her frequent tea rinsing, so man's gonna try that and get back to y'all. <laughs> you guys should expect that kind of video down the line. I'm definitely going to look into trying tea rinses, and get back to you guys. As you know, there's a serious movement. Actually, it's a very ancient movement. It's Ayurveda. It was incepted in India. It's now becoming popular in the natural community. And in Ayurvedic communities, they use products such as henna, shikakai, fenugreek, hibiscus, etc., etc., etc. There are so many Ayurvedic products on the market extremely natural and typically very inexpensive. Now they're getting more of an honorable mention and some of those ingredients are a bit extra. They're more extra components of a regimen, which is why I didn't put them in the bulk of this video, but you guys should totally check those out again. They're not hair products, they're inexpensive and they're fantastic for the hair and oftentimes the skin. Now look y'all, 
I'm not telling you to put henna all over your skin because if you do, you're gonna be looking like a cherry <laughs> or a dark cherry depending on your skin tone. So please don't go and do that. It will actually change the color of your skin. Temporarily, of course, but look, I'm just warning you. So guys, to focus in on two Ayurvedic ingredients, henna and hibiscus, I actually did a treatment using both of them in a special secret mixture. I'm kidding, it wasn't a secret, y'all. <laughs> I'm just being extra. I did a treatment and I really loved the results, but if you guys want me to make a video on that, I'm gonna need you to get this video to 2,000 likes. So I know that that's the kind of stuff you guys are looking to see. So everyone, that's pretty much the whole video. Let me know if you'd like a part two actually demonstrating all of these different practices and giving you guys some more supernatural non-hair products that you can put on your hair that are really inexpensive and super effective. Let me know, let me know, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been really fun. I hope you guys enjoy this little peek into my personality. I hope you guys enjoy this, our new click name, the Z Stars. <laughs> hey y'all. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with all your friends, comment down below, let me know again what types of products you guys use on your hair that are not necessarily hair products but still extremely effective. And last but certainly not least, subscribe. Like I said, I don't know what you're doing if you're not subscribed to our channel. And turn on your notifications so you know every time we post a new video. So sayonara, au revoir, peace be with you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Thanks again, guys.